Check out these epoxy bowl blanks that we made from scratch. We used carbon fiber, a little know-how, and had a blast creating a blank to turn into a fantastic project. I worked with world-renowned woodturner Carl Jacobson from the Wood Shop TV. He showed me how to make a blank and we used carbon fiber as an experiment and I can't wait to see the final result. Using our epoxy additives, gold dust, blue earth and black base, we created a second blank that blew us away. You'll learn how we make the blanks and you can visit Carl Jacobson at the Woodshop TV for this collaboration's ending. This project came out amazing. I can't wait to see what Carl creates on his lathe. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. You got this! Remember, when you subscribe to our channel, click on the red subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so you get notified every time we have a new video. Thanks again. All right, we got this thing dry. This is, check this out, Luke, you ready? <laughs> it's, it's dry, I would, I, I would dry. say, man. Uh, I think that looks cool. It's got potential to you know, cut, but it's cheesy when you compare it to Carl Jacobson's bowls. We need a real bowl, man. So you ready for this blank I'm, we talked about? I'm ready. I mean, ever since we discussed it, I'm just, I, I got to see this thing made. Yeah. Yeah. You're getting ready to go back to your next project. Yep. I only got you for about another hour. Let's make a blank. Let's do it. Are you ready? I'm ready. So we're going to take some carbon fiber cloth. I got a couple scraps here. It comes with this funky little white stripe. We'll cut that off. Right. I even like all the shreds, like who cares? Yeah, yeah. yeah and we're just gonna, cool. you think just shove it? Just shove it I, in like I would. the bowl? And then that way, like on this one, you can kind of see, or the, well, it'll have those folds in it like this. Stuff yeah. If we just, just pile it in there. I like that idea. What I would do is put a blank in the middle of the bucket and then push the stuff so you don't need to use all the stuff. Robin, the brains behind the Woodshop TV, Stone Coat Countertops, and basically every other YouTube channel in the world, Robin. <laughs> we'll get a new bucket and I love that idea. And then what we could do to suspend it too is just drill holes we want that kind of eyeball it, drill a couple holes through that and then just poke that rod all the way through. Yeah. yeah. That'd be cool with you? Yeah, oh yeah. All right, Absolutely. let's do this thing. You ready for lunch? Oh, oh look. Oh, there you go. That would be Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> Guys, have you seen the carbon fiber table that we made? That's where we got this cloth. Go check out that video if you haven't seen it. It's really cool. Let me drill a hole in this little guy. Yeah, then we could kind of adjust that to where we need that bucket too, right? Yeah. Yep. Time to go pour this thing. <laughs> got the super cast, got the cloth. All right. I'm going to grab my mixing paddle over there. And we are ready to rock. All right, man. So super cast. This is what we did. So it's, you know, our audience loves pouring river tables. And so um, our original casting epoxy is only designed to go three quarters of an inch thick. Right. This is designed to go much thicker, but it all depends on mass. And so you can't really tell them, well, you can go two inches thick because if it's 18, 20, 30 inches wide, that's a lot of mass that's generating that chemical reaction, that heat. Right. And so if it's too much and you don't put a fan to blow that heat away from the surface, it'll want to crack on you. Okay. And so this turning something like this, I think we're great. How many ounces do you think we need? We're going to have only a couple inches on the bottom. Uh huh. And then I think in a couple inches on each side. So you want to sit, you want to do a hunt like a yeah. 128. Let's try that. This is a much, much thinner viscosity than our normal epoxy. Um, that's so it can impregnate and, oh, okay. and saturate and all kinds of action. It also yeah. can be poured where you don't like, if you can't get into a crack and crevice, that kind of thing. And, and we don't mix this with a drill. We mix this by hand so we don't entrain a bunch of air. Okay. So you won't have a lot of air bubbles. We have, you know, we've poured really thick and it, it doesn't generate a lot of bubbles that you're fighting. So, okay. um, and it torches out really good. Typically what we'll do is we'll, uh, We'll torch every quarter inch as we're pouring like a big mass oh, right, right. It, and then it lets it come out. But if there was like a stubborn big bubble at the bottom, I could heat up the tip of a Phillips screwdriver and get in there and it'll pop, oh, it. pop it. Yeah, oh, cool, cool. yeah. And because you're not pouring this on a counter, it doesn't have to retain, you know, at, at thickness right, because right. you're always forming this. It can be thin. Okay. So what we could do is mix this. 
we'll pour some of it into a blanket. If we need more, we'll pour it in and okay. then whatever's left over, we'll, we'll make a, another cool blank. What's the working time on this? You get a long time. Um, in a big mass like this, not nearly as long as it's going to generate heat and set up, but in uh, a river table, yeah. oh, your working time is probably an hour and a half. Oh, wow. So we got to mix this for about eight minutes. Okay. Because we're not using a drill, you, you really want to make sure every, you see how it's like swirly right now? Yeah. That's just the two different parts. It'll be the same color same when color. we're done. Okay. Yeah. And this stuff is really clear as you get it mixed. Yeah, thin viscosity, right? Right, right. yeah. See how it's already starting to clear up? Yeah, yeah, pretty quick. All right, All we'll right. pour some of that into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nice. See, I'm, it already didn't soak up quite as much as I thought it was going to. But I think that's probably about right. Okay. When we put that yeah. thing in there, I think it's going to... Yeah. You want me to shove this bucket down there? Yeah. Yeah, let's turn it. Now, we didn't spray any release on this, so we might have a hard time popping it out. I can turn it out. Okay. Oh, that's going to work good as a form. There's some hanging out. Let's watch these, Carl. See this, like, joint of bubbles? They're going to want to come up, so I could come back in another 20 minutes yeah. and, and hit it again, yeah. and it'll let those out. I like this idea. This saved a lot of material, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. You still have all that. You could... What are we gonna make right now with that? What do okay. we got laying around the shop we can throw in resin? We got black base tint, we got gold dust, and we got blue earth. So here's what I want you to do. We're just gonna put a little bit of this in. All right. So let me go grab a spoon, okay. and we're gonna dip some of that in. And I don't wanna mix it yet. I wanna mix it all at once. And I kinda wanna under mix it too. So you just get these swirls so that we don't wanna create mud, right? right? So it's not gonna remain clear, but it will mix funky. Put some gold dust in there. All right, we put a little bit more of this in there. All right, I'm gonna just kind of mix this in and the other stuff will start to work in. This is just gonna be kind of a black bowl. We're gonna put more of this in. That might be really cool when we're done. Yeah. So the reason I like this gold dust for this kind of thing is even over mixing it, it won't disappear. You see how that base tent grabbed the regular metallic and it hit it? Yeah. It overwhelmed it. Right. That gold dust is, yeah. is staying apparent, like you can yeah. still see it, yeah. which is really unique for this and our diamond dust. It's, it's just those two that do that. Right. Agitate it again and it'll, it'll move it and retain some color. All right, guys, if you want to see how these blanks become bowls, go check out the video. You're going to do this soon. Absolutely. All right, it's going to be up right now because we're going to time these videos at the same time. Visit us anytime at StoneCoatCountertops.com to find the Supercast and go check out the Woodshop TV. Yep. yep. Thanks, brother. That's what a collab's all about, guys. Yep. All right, we'll see you on the next video. Oh, see, that's going to be amazing. It, and it's staying up. I was worried it was right. all going to kind of go it's down, so you know. Cool. Let's do this. Let's see how this comes out. Oh, just dropping it like that. Pop that. Look at that. That's already loose. That's loose. Here we go. <laughs> Sick. Look at that, man. That gold dust settled down here, but then it's also very, very intermixed throughout this turning blank. That's really cool. All right, let's see how this next blank comes out. Hopefully it comes out as easy as that one did. Okay, pull out the rod. Oh, nice, nice. Look how clear that is, man. You can see into that carbon fiber really cool. I wonder how this is going to turn, man. Like, I wonder, it, you know, it's hard to cut even with, with scissors. So I wonder, I wonder how that turns on a lathe. Hopefully Carl doesn't hate me by the end. Before we do that, you, you want to look like, we could kind of look like a nun here. Right. Mine, mine looks more like a shawl. Yes, like you can be a shawl. I'll be carbon a carbon fiber shawl. I'll be a fat nun. <laughs> <laughs> or I could be in a colder climate. There you go. As a scarf. There we go. 
go. I, or just I, like. I need my knitting. Oh, you knitting. look good. Look oh. at you. The beard does it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this.